measuring your jump and your maximum overall length right now on Pirate Firearms and Reloading. Hi folks, today I wanted to talk about how to measure your case overall length um, as it pertains to setting up for seating depth in your rifle. So I happen to have my Tika CTR and 223 Remington here, um, obviously in the KRG chassis. And what I'm gonna do today is measure how far out I would have to seat the projectile in order to touch the lands and grooves. Now that's actually not my desired result. What I want to now do is conduct a seating depth test and come back at increments from the projectile being jammed into the lands and grooves all the way back to the minimum case length I can load without compressing my powder charge. So I know that's a lot to get your head around but basically what I'm going to do is show you the tools you need to measure that here today. So this is an overall length gauge, uh, it's made by Hornaday um, and as you can see it has a threaded end here, a brass thumb screw and this little push rod that runs through the center. So essentially what you do, I've grabbed my projectile too. So you want the projectiles that you happen to be loading with, okay? Um, and you buy these cases from Hornaday. So as you can see on the inside here, that case has been drilled out and it has been threaded. Now. There are several people who have done this themselves out there, particularly if you're shooting something like a Wildcat or something they don't offer a case in. Um, you may have to do that yourself. However, for the price of them, quite often it's easier just to buy them. And so the idea of how this system works is you then sit your projectile into the case. You can see their case allows the projectile to travel freely. And then this rod here pushes the projectile forward so I start with the projectile just sticking out of the case a little bit and just do that thumb start up ever so gently um, I'm just going to quickly pull off my check riser and get that out of the way now it is worth noting too they do make a curved version of this overall length gauge um, and that's designed for things like lever actions um, auto loaders things like that um, obviously bolt action you can use the straight one and they do recommend using the straight one if you can so basically you're going to push against the aluminium collar here and push it as far as it will go into the chamber then you're going to undo your thumb stud and you're going to push the rod in and you're going to apply a little bit of pressure to it you don't want to apply a lot you're not trying to ram that down there and you obviously don't want to break the rod as well once you've done so lock the thumb stud up and you can now withdraw the gauge. Now you'll notice the projectile is now missing. Now this is where I'm about to commit a cardinal sin. I'm going to put my cleaning rod here um, down from the muzzle end and just knock that projectile out. So I've got a nice fiberglass cleaning rod here and um, this one happens to be a Tipton um, with a brass end on it. So ever so gently inserting the cleaning rod from the muzzle and there is the projectile knocked out. Now I'll just flip that out of there. Hopefully, there we go. Now what we can do is sit the projectile in there and we know that that overall length now is the maximum we can load to, right? If you're gonna use this rifle for hunting, you probably don't wanna be jamming the projectile into the lands and grooves, because if you have to extract that case for any reason, you may leave the projectile behind. That's not a great experience. So now what you can do, you can measure two things from this. Take your trusty calipers, make sure they're on imperial and zeroed, now you can measure overall length. So there's a specific notch here in the gauge 
which is designed to hold your calipers and then you can extend this out and measure your projector. So my maximum overall length with the projectile seated into the lands and grooves is 2.310. We'll ignore the half here. Now, I have no intention of starting with this seated into the lands and grooves. So the closest I will load to is probably 10 thou off. Um, I tend to follow the um, method that is described on the Berger website for getting their VLDs to shoot. Um, they have a very good article on doing a seating depth test um, and basically the, the closest they recommend loading to the lands and grooves. Um, and a general purpose rifle is about 10 thou off. Um, if you're not comfortable with 10 thou, by all means you can load out further. Now there's one other thing you can check too. If you have the Hornady comparator set with the overall length gauge, this will sit on the ogive of the bullet. Now I find this is substantially more accurate, particularly because my die seat based on the ogive, not on the overall length. And depending on the quality of your bullet manufacturer, the overall length of the bullet versus the ogive might be slightly different. At the end of the day, what truly counts is the part of the projectile that is contacting the lands and grooves. And the idea is when you seat them all uniformly, there should be an even amount of jump between the bearing surface of the projectile and the start of the lands and grooves and that's referred to as jump. So I'm just gonna screw this little guy here onto my calipers. Tighten up the bass thumb screw. Right, re-zero it out, make sure it's correct. Perfect. And now I can measure to the ogive of the projectile. So get it the right way around. So in my case, it is 1.891 inches. So if I come 10 thou back, I would be looking for 1881. And that gives me a good place to seat the bullet to start with. Then I'll slowly work back to the point where I don't want to seat the projectile any further because of touching, or sorry, because of compressing the powder charge. Um, and I'll usually, when I'm starting, um, I'll jump sort of, depending on how much room I've got to, this is the thing. In this particular rifle, between the um, minimum case overall length recommended in the load manual for my load, there's 60 thou jump between that and the lands and grooves. So what I'm going to do is just do six rounds, 10 thou apart, working my way up to the 10 thou off the lands and grooves, and I'm gonna shoot two three shot groups just to remove any error from myself. And from there, I can tweak it, um, you know, by the half thou, or some people will adjust that seating depth to thou. So there it is, folks. That's how you measure the maximum overall length your rifle is able to take. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I release new videos every Friday, so hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on anything. See you in the next one.